Hi guys, my name is Sylvain Filippi. I am the CTO of the DS Virgin Racing Formula E team. I'm here today with a brand new DSV03 and today we are going to talk about the different functions of a Formula E steering wheel. A Formula E powertrain is very complex by definition because of all the different elements, the way you manage the energy, the electric motor and so on. So the only way the driver can influence all this is through the steering wheel because we need the driver to be able to alter many parameters during the race. That can go from examples from like a torque map, which is the ramp of how quickly you want the power to be delivered, uh, how strong you want the, the regen um, to be depending on which corner. In order to um, go as fast as possible and be efficient, there are many changes they need to make uh, on the steering wheel throughout the race to optimize the, the powertrain and the efficiency. Um, and you will see the engineers back in the garage looking at all the data and advising on the, dri the driver on what to do. So this is why when you look at a, a, at a Formula E single, it looks, it looks a bit complex. We race on normal city streets, which by definition can be bumpy um, and a bit rough in general. So for drivers, it's even more difficult because they are racing on really narrow tracks, surrounded by other uh, drivers, and they somehow have to make a lot of changes on these, on these pretty small buttons on the steering wheel. So it's very challenging for them. You also have to manage all the energy um, aspects of it as well, which is why if you watch um, um, a Formula E race on TV, you will actually listen to a lot of chatter uh, between the drivers and, and the engineers, um, more so than pretty much in any other um, series. So as an example, we do get live telemetry data uh, directly from the cars, uh, but also some, some uh, data we don't have through the live telemetry. So for example, we rely on our drivers to tell us what is the main SOC, the state of charge of the battery, and how is that going down throughout the race. 4.92 uh, so we rely on the driver to tell us that over the radio so we can then um, adapt the strategy accordingly depending on whether we are on target or not. You will um, uh, see a lot of chatter between the engineers and the drivers and that also adds to the complexity uh, because if you're a driver you're not, uh, you, have, you have a lot to think about during a race for sure. So Formula E steering wheel is pretty standard in terms of uh, advanced steering wheel for motorsports. So you have the paddles behind the steering wheel to change gears up and down. Um, but also there are also some specificities that, um, that are uh, typical to Formula E, such as the regen pedal, for example. So as I mentioned, the regen is really, it's really important to get that right for drivers to maximize the amount of energy um, that we uh, get back. The driver can adjust how much regen and how strong he wants the regen to be, uh, whether on the brake pedal or whether he can also add regen uh, through a paddle behind the steering wheel as well. So there are many combinations uh, that the driver can, can play with on the steering wheel. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. To subscribe to our channel, click here. And to watch more videos, click here.